We're back here with our blueprint on woodworking with Wes. On our first video of this series, we talked about how to read a blueprint and we went over some of the things that we're going to do. Today is segment two. We're going to take our blueprint and we're going to make a layout drawing and then make some shop drawings from our layout. We do the layout so that we can get a customer approval or a client approval, I should say, for our uh, plan to build. Let's start there. On this job, we have a prep kitchen or a butler's pantry, depending upon how it's described, but within here it's described as a prep kitchen. We are going to do a layout drawing of the sink wall of our prep kitchen. Uh, first thing we need to do is go to our main floor uh, plan. If we go to our table of contents, main level floor plan. So that's where we're going to go. And there we are, main level floor plan. And here is our prep kitchen right here. This is the wall we're going to do right here. Now our client has asked for some changes before we got started and we're going to incorporate those changes in our layout drawing. Um, the first thing we have to do is scale, see how big we are. Remember we talked about a scale, this quarter inch equals one foot. And if you come down and look at the sheet on our our instructions, one quarter inch equals one foot, is the scale that this is drawn in. So what we do is we lay our scale on there, and that tells us, by counting off, that we have a 14 foot wall for our sink wall. So that's how big our sink wall is going to be. The change that we've been asked to make is our sink wall has no uppers. There's an upper along here and this you'll see this is the base cabinets here. This is our sink of course you can tell but this is our base cabinets. This dotted line indicates an upper. She would like to have uppers on both sides of the window and have a smaller window. The window that we have here right now according to our uh, blueprint is a seven and a half foot window. She would like to shrink that down to a five foot window and put uppers on both sides. And we're going to incorporate that into our layout drawing. So we're going to draw this wall with some uppers. So let's get started on that. We're getting ready now to um, make our layout drawing for our prep kitchen. Here's our prep kitchen. And as you remember, we put our quarter inch scale. Here's our quarter inch scale. We laid it on there. We determined that this is a 14 foot sink wall for our prep kitchen. Now we're going to be making our layout drawing. This is quarter inch scale, but the graph paper that we're using that I bought at my office supply store is a one inch equals one foot scale. So we're going to be transferring quarter inch scale to one inch scale, and we're gonna make the drawing that way. So the first thing we need to do to do our layout is to set up our wall, 14 feet. And the way we do that is to just count off 14 squares. Let's start over here in this corner and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And from that point to that point represents our sink wall. So let's get some lines drawn in there to determine our spacing. There's our outside wall there and our outside wall there. put a line along our back wall from point to point. There's the beginning of our layout representing our 14 foot wall. Now, according to our scale, again, first thing we need to do is center our sink. According to our quarter inch scale, our sink is centered at six feet from our left hand side. Let's do the same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right here is going to be our sink center on our new layout drawing. Now I always put a little line through there and I have a little return line. And I don't know if this is exactly according to the way uh, an architect would do it, but this is the way I do it to remind myself 
Here's the center of our sink. I mark it with a C and 72 inches, 6 feet. One of the things I always do on my drawings is I break down my feet 2 inches. So this is a 14 foot wall. Let's do a little math over here on the side. 14 by 12 is 168 inches. So this wall here is 168 inches. The other thing we have to center is our window. Now we remember, remember our client would like to have this window dropped from a seven and a half foot to a six foot, so we need two and a half feet from either side of our center. There's our center, one, two and a half, and we'll just put a little line through our back wall and one, two and a half, and a little line through our back wall, and that represents our window. So we now have our window marked. This will be our wall that I have our uppers on right here. The other thing we know when we, to get started is our base cabinet is two feet deep. So one, two, we'll draw us a line along the face of our cabinet run on our layout drawing. We also have a return here so we know it's going to return two feet here so one two so our complete our line there and we'll draw a return right there. We won't draw this wall or this uh, wall of cabinets but we'll indicate that we have a corner here. Alright let's get started. Sink all, it's a double bowl sink. You can tell by the representation on our architectural drawing that this is a double bowl sink. Um, we know that sinks, a standard double bowl sink, requires a 36 inch cabinet. This, these are measurements that you become familiar with as you do cabinet work and, and some of these measurements I'll just go through because I, I know these measurements and I'm familiar with them and I'll just uh, so that we can represent them on our our uh, layout drawing but we know that a sink is six is 36 inches centered so 18 inches on both sides here's one and a half feet and one and a half feet and there will be our sink and we're going to draw a dotted line along this to indicate our sink cabinet And I always start off by labeling which cabinet. This is our sink cabinet, and then we know it's 36 inches. And I put the 36 inches out front like this so that I can keep a running total of my inches as I work through my layout. To the right-hand side of our sink, she would like a dishwasher. A dishwasher, again, a measurement that I'm familiar with because I do this all the time, is 24 inches. That's a standard dishwasher opening. 24 inches. So one, two, and here's our dishwasher. Again, a dotted line. We're going to indicate that this is our dishwasher and it's 24 inches. To the right of our dishwasher, now our base cabinets here are going to be all basically base drawers. We're going to indicate that as we go through, but that's what she would like to have is base drawers. We're going to have a dead corner over here because we're not going to have a lazy Susan or, or any kind of a return cabinet that has a, a blind corner or anything like that. We're just going to do a dead corner. The first thing we have to do when we do a dead corner is we have to put a 3 by 3 filler. And this, these little squares right here are 3 inches because 4 of them equals 1 foot, 1 of them equals 3 inches. And the reason we do a, a corner filler of 3x3 three three is to allow our drawers with hardware on them to pass one another as they open. And so you've got to have a 3x3 three three corner filler. So we indicate that. Now, according to our scale on this, Let's see what we have left. Now this scale again, like I say, is one inch equals one foot. So here's our one inch scale equals one foot. Let's lay it up here and see what we got. 
according to our scale here, we got 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 inches is our measurement from our dishwasher to our corner filler. Let's draw a line here indicating our cabinet wall. This is going to be a base drawer stack of three and 27 inches. All right, so that gives us our corner or, or our cabinet layout down to our corner filler. To the left hand side of her sink, she would like to have a trash rollout. Again, one of the measurements that I am familiar with as I build cabinets all the time, a trash rollout is always 18 inches. And I build my own trash rollouts. And if you'd like to refer to uh, an earlier video that I've done, I show you how I build my trash, double cash trash rollouts. And uh, you can review that. But let's indicate our wall there. This is 18 inches. So there's 12. And 6 is 18 inches. This is a trash roll out and 18 inches so we're doing real good we've worked along here and we're doing here is our remainder to our wall now one of the things we always do when we put a cabinet in here is we always indicate that we have a filler against this wall because we can't run the drawers right up against the wall so we're going to put a three-quarter inch filler right there and we're just going to mark that three-quarter inch filler just like that. And we're going to take our one inch scale and see what we have left here. According to our one inch scale, the space that we had left was three feet, but minus three quarter. So our three feet minus three quarter is going to be 35 and one quarter inch. And let's just go over here a little on the side and let's do some math. 35 and one quarter is our measurement that we have to deal with. We're going to divide this in half. She would like a stack of four drawers just for small kitchen appliances, utensils, and things like that, and then back to another base corner three. So let's divide our 35 and a half into two, giving us 17 and three quarters of an inch. And let's take our scale our one inch scale back again and let's indicate 17 and three quarters so we know or 17 and one yeah I did my math wrong let's check that 35 and one quarter is 7 is 14 one quarter five eighths Ugh. measure twice come on 17 and five eighths is our measurement. Okay, so let's go back here. This is 18, and we're going to bring that over to just a little over a half for our scale there. We're gonna give us a line here that divides this area in half with our three-quarter filler. We're gonna put a base drawer four and a base drawer three and both will be 17 and 5 eighths 17 and 5 eighths all right now we could go back and 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 i will but uh, we could go back and we could add up this corner 24 plus 3 would be 27 in fact, let's just do the math. Let's just check myself because uh, you can see I know how to make mistakes. So let's try and see if we don't have any leftovers here. Our next cabinet is 27. Our dishwasher is 24. Our sink is 36. Our trash rollout is 18. Our remainder here, 17, 5, 8, 17, 5, 8, is 3 quarter. We knew this was 36. Let's go ahead and indicate 36. All right, let's do our math here. 7, 7, 14. 6 and 4 is 10. So there's 24. And 8 is 32. 
and 6 is 8. Carry our 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 168 and 168. We did all right. We're doing good. Okay, this is our basic layout that we're going to offer right here for our base cabinets. Now, remember, she wanted some uppers. Now, let's draw our uppers in. And I always change to a red pencil for my uppers so I can uh, distinguish uppers and lowers. And we'll just draw those in now and, and we'll just make some lines to show that we're going to do the. One of the things I like to do is I always like to space off my upper away from my window and give a reveal. So we're going to space our upper off three inches on both sides. Our uppers are also always 12 inches deep. So this line here, remember one foot, two foot? So this line right here becomes our upper depth. So let's just indicate our uppers here real quickly. Remember, we have a return on our upper, so let's indicate our return by drawing our line here, and this creates our return on our upper. So these are our upper cabinets. And this is basically what I would take to my client for her approval. All right, we've just completed our layout drawing for our client. I hope you understand that this is how I do mine. There are computer programs that are available for those that are computer savvy. I'm not. So this is the way I do my layout drawings for my clients. Very old school. But I'm from the old school. So anyway, I just wanted to show you how I do my layout drawings, how I determine the sizes of my cabinets, and how on our next video we're going to turn these into shop drawings so we can get ready to build our cabinet. And we look forward to seeing you then on Woodworking with Wes.